In nature, gold can be found in the form of crystals or nuggets, both big and small. Gold is the king of precious metals. With its unique color and shine, it has been fascinating people since the dawn of time. Many myths and legends claim that it has supernatural origins. In ancient times, the Aztec, who controlled a huge empire in what is now Mexico, believed that gold was the sun's sweat. In ancient Egypt, where the pharaohs ruled, it was thought to be the flesh of the gods. Some civilizations think it's divine, and gold is certainly a treasure that comes from far away. Yes, it may seem surprising, but our jewelry was created from stardust. This extraterrestrial material then made its way to us via meteorites. And as a result, gold found its way into our soil and rivers. This very rare metal has superpowers, which make it useful in many different ways. Not only is it resistant, but also malleable, meaning that it can be hammered, stretched, or curved into all sorts of shapes. In China, 5,000 years ago, goldsmiths were highly skilled with their hands. They were already using several techniques to shape the gold and create amazing jewelry, ornaments, and objects. Hammering, for example, is among the oldest methods we've discovered. It consists of beating and flattening a sheet of gold onto a shape to create a design in low relief. Talented artisans would then use a chasing tool to create patterns on the objects. Another amazing property of gold is that it becomes liquid when it is heated to 1000 degrees Celsius, a temperature easily achieved with fire. Goldsmiths then poured molten gold into molds. Once cooled, it hardened to create cast pieces. In the 14th century, artisans were able to make fabulous hair ornaments, like this one, by stretching gold into very fine threads, which could be less than a millimeter thick. Gold is so easy to bend and twist that it is perfect for the filigree technique. Can you see the tiny beads on this hairpin? When gold is turned into small granules through an ancient technique called granulation, it can be used to decorate an object. Goldsmith certainly needed a lot of patience. Hammering and chasing, casting, wire and filigree, or granulation. These traditional techniques, among others, have been used for hundreds of years. They have been passed on from masters to apprentices over the centuries. Thanks to these precious techniques, many treasures are still being made today.